Well, here we are, the first video for SE Nuke TNG. I'm Rob, aka Podman from the SE Nuke forums. Now, I've been using SE Nuke since 2009, and what I'm going to show you today represents the biggest change to SE Nuke I've yet seen, and that is the Article Manager. Now, the Article Manager represents a shift from a single campaign basis to a multi campaign basis, and that's because, as anybody who's used SE Nuke in the past will remember, the way it worked was you made a campaign and you linked articles to that campaign and then the campaign ran and it posted your articles to various sites around the internet and then it finished and that was pretty much it you could never use those articles again now with SE Nuke TNG what we've done is we have separated the articles from the campaigns so one campaign could link into multiple different sets of articles and equally one article could be used by multiple different campaigns now this allows a few new tricks such as the loop mode and the duplicate mode, which we'll cover in the next few days. But for today, I'm just going to show you the article manager itself. Now, you can order your articles in any way you want. As you can see in this example here, I've set three different categories of articles, uh, which represent three different niches. Uh, equally, you can group things by a website if you want, or any way that you feel happy with. Now, I've already loaded in a few articles here on dog training. You can see when I click there, we've got a uh, set of articles 550 words long on dog training and another set of articles five, 650 words long on dog training. Now, each of these sets of articles is actually 15 different articles all merged together. So straight away between these two sets, we already have several hundred different articles that we could use. If we wanted to add in more articles, we simply have to select this add new content and come over to the article source. And you'll see that we have four premium sources of articles from Article Builder, The Leading Articles, Content Machine, and Article Forge, as well as the ability to type in your own articles, load articles from text files, or get free articles from eZine. In addition, whenever you've got any articles, you can also run them through the spinners. We have a built-in spinner with SNUKE that entitles you to 50 spins a day for free. But if you need more than that, we have the three industry-leading spinners, The Best Spinner, Spin Rewriter, and Word AI, all available. Now, as I said, I've already produced three sets of articles. I've got uh, two here in the tier two, tier one, sorry, and one here in the tier two. So let's just quickly go through how SNU will add links into these articles, and then we'll get to go through all these different settings over here on the right hand side. So if we just click on the preview, and we have uh, the keyword that we're using for articles here, and we click Spin Preview you'll see that instantly it has put in a contextual link for the keyword that we're looking for. And that's because SNU TNG reads through the article and it looks for your keywords actually in the text. Whenever it finds your keyword in the text, it can produce a link. Now, if we scroll through the article, you'll see there is another link here, which says letting. And what this is, it's linking out to an authority site. Uh, in this case, it's linking out to photos on Pixabay based on the word letting. So this is done automatically as well. If we come back to the article group settings, you'll see down here we have an option for inserting authority links. And it can insert between one and six links per article. Or you can turn it off completely if you don't want any authority links. The core advantage of adding in the authority links is it just makes your page look a bit more natural. It doesn't make it look like it's just promoting you. It makes it look like something that somebody's written to promote the niche in general. Now that's all well and good when it can find your keyword within the article, but what about when it can't find your keyword? Well, we have multiple different choices you can use then. Firstly, we have the insert random links. If we go back to the article and I just change it to something unusual, oranges, we're unlikely to have the word oranges in this article, and click spin, you'll see that what that's done is just randomly inserting the word somewhere in the article itself. Now, obviously, anybody reading it might think it's a little bit strange, but because it's inserted actually into the sentences themselves, rather than just outside of sentences, it tends to slip through moderation. As an alternative, you can use the Replace Random Words option. If we spin this up again, you'll see that what it's done this time is instead of actually just randomly putting in your keyword, it's just picked a word out and changed that so that it becomes a link to your website. Now the advantage of that is it does result in a greater diversity of links that you get and in a lot of niches where oversaturation is a problem that's quite a useful feature. Lastly we have a insert generic sentences option. This has two different methods one using keywords and one using naked URLs. We'll test the keyword one first. If we go back to the preview article and we spin it up again you'll see that this time it hasn't put our link in but instead it's put a generic sentence at the bottom which says if you love this article on oranges and would like to read more please visit our site 
Now, TNG has hundreds of these uh, sentences, and they're all in spin text format, so it spins out into tens of thousands of different variations. And as such, it's a very good way to get a contextual link in if it's not there in the article itself already. The last one there is the naked URLs. If we click on the preview and we spin it up, you'll see at this time it's produced a sentence, if you love this article on oranges, there's our keyword put in, and would like to read more, please visit our site, and then it will have the naked URL of your site. Now in this example, it has to use a generic URL because we haven't set any URLs in the article manager itself. URLs are only set when you do the actual campaigns. Now some of you may already have noticed we actually have some pictures of dogs here put into the articles. These are done randomly each time we spin it. We get some different pictures. Now the pictures are set down here in the insert image settings. You have a choice of inserting completely random images. If we select the completely random images and do a preview, you'll see that we could get an image on just about anything. Uh, we've got a padlock that time. Uh, spin it up again, we've got a tree. But TNG also has the option to scrape and use images based upon a keyword. These are the ones that I got earlier. I just scraped up some images based on dogs and those are the ones that we were using. For an actual campaign, you would scrape up 50 or 60 different pictures. In this, I've only scraped, uh, I believe, six pictures I put in. The last option down here, which is inserting random uh, images based on the Flickr tag, uh, that's for users of SENUKE XCR who are upgrading to TNG. All your old articles that you've used on previous campaigns will actually appear here in the article manager. There will be a special section, uh, especially for them and uh, all the systems that we used back then in SNUG XCR, they will continue to work. However, moving forward, all your new campaigns that you do through the wizard and the turbo wizard, they will be using the articles that are here in the article manager. And that's what we're gonna go through in the next video tomorrow. So until then, keep on nuking.